Hey guys, it's Nafsi here. Welcome to my YouTube channel. I'm super excited to have you join me in this tutorial. If you are looking to host a website, to design a website literally for free without spending a dime, I got you covered in this tutorial because I'll be showing you a fantastic website called Award Space that would host your website, a WordPress website, literally for free. By the end of this tutorial, you should be able to set up a WordPress website for yourself literally for free that you can use to do whatever you want to do. Maybe you want to practice with it or you want to have your website for your business. So without further ado, I think we should get started into these tutorials immediately. So right on my screen here is awardspace.com. You can easily get a free hosting for yourself where ideas turn into websites. Free hosting, free subdomain, PHP, MySQL, Happy Solar, email sending and that's quite very important because you will see how you can get a professional email for yourself in this tutorial and for you to get started you just need to come here click the get started button or free sign up button to create a free account and that's super simple to do just come down here if you get started button all you have to do is just scroll down here put your name your email and the password and then you register now once you're done with the registration you will be asked for you to verify your email once you verify your email it's as good as you have an award space account uh, so this example i would just want to log in into my account since i have an old account here right inside of our space you have an interface just like this and the next thing we want to do here is to connect the domain first let's go to our domain panel and the first option here is for us to register a domain name that's all right by domain name with awards is and the next second option is for us to transfer a domain if you have a domain registered somewhere before and you want to transfer it to your award space account that's also possible that's the second step here just need to put the domain name here and transfer you would have to pay a certain amount of money and then award space now manages the domain for you and the next thing here is for you to host the domain so if you have a domain registered somewhere and you want to connect it, you want to post it here, that's also possible. And then the final thing here is for you to create a free subdomain. So you can just come here, type a name, and use any of the domain names they have here as a subdomain. But I would not recommend this if you want to create a serious website, any website that you want to make public uh, beyond just tutorial or learning WordPress, learning how to design WordPress website. Uh, so for the purpose of this example, I think I would just want to host a domain name. So I advise you to find a place to buy a domain name as cheap as a dollar or less. And I would advise you to come to Namecheap, uh, Namecheap.com. You should be able to register a very extremely cheap domain name here. So like I would say, by just typing those tabs, dot site, and then we search. You would see that I can register this domain name dot site for as low as one dollar, less than a dollar, just 98 cents here. And this is amazing. So instead of you using a free subdomain, just spend 98 cents here to buy a domain name here that you can use. And they have several options really. You can dot online here is the same amount here, dot all here is the same amount here. And you can even see you can buy dot cloud dot bees. A lot of options here for you. You can see the click here is one dollar eighty cent. These are more reasonable to me to invest your money into rather than using a piece of domain. Trust me, you don't want to appear that way. For the purpose of this example, I will use a domain name here so dashboard. Just like I told you, I registered a dot site domain here, also just for tutorial and test. It didn't cost me anything more than a dollar, so I'm happy to spend that amount of money so right now i will just copy this domain name and then i'll come back to what space i'll paste that here and then i will click post domain this domain has been successfully added i think that's beautiful to continue we can just scroll up here we need to copy these name servers both of them and then add it whatever domain register you're using but if you are using a subdomain you will not need to this is only applicable to people who are using custom domain. So now let's continue. If I come back to name clip and then I come back to name servers here, so if you come down here, 
you see a place for name servers, you need to take this, you need to change this to custom name servers and then put the name servers here. I already did that for this tutorial, hoping that these name servers will get fast enough so that I will not have to waste so much time waiting for this to add game if I continue this tutorial. So for you to check the propagation of your domain name, you can use a tool called DNS Tracker. Just need to plug your domain name here and then change this to NS and then do a search. On the results here, you can still see that uh, this domain name is not propagating in some parts of the world. You can also see that in Canada and some other parts of the world like Switzerland or Mexico, this domain name is already targeting there. So you need to come here, check to see the propagation of your domain name. So it, this can take some time, it can take some hours, depending really. So you need to just check. So coming back to our workspace now, let's close this and let's just keep refreshing. While this domain name is propagating and then our workspace is trying to connect the domain name to your server, I think we'll just continue the process to installing the WordPress website and then eventually we'll wait for everything to propagate or see our website. That's fine. So let's come up here and then let's come to Zaki App Installer. Scroll down here and then browse app or browse all apps. Then we have WordPress. Yes, let's import WordPress. And then yes, let's see next step. Inside of Zaki App Installer, we just need filling details of our website to so here choose a title from your website i can just call this apps apps tutorial and admin username i can leave this as admin or i can just call this apps now I'll set a password for my wordpress i'll leave my email as is and then i would install application as you can see wordpress 6.6.1 is calling database creating copying files sending emails let's give this some time good so we have installation is completed successfully so that means wordpress has been installed already on our wordpress. right now on our screen here we can see that we have a url here but this is different from the domain that we set up so you need to know that so if you see this is that right for this one is the preview.awardspace.net. So let's just click this. Let's see if we have a WordPress website read. So this is exactly what it looks like if we're using the subdomain from our WordPress. We have a WordPress website here ready for use. How super amazing this. Right, so now let's come back here again. Let's click this to go to the back end of this WordPress website. Let's see. Looks like that. I have a WordPress website ready for me use how super amazing and super easy is this we are not done here yet uh, let's say we are want to use this website for business you would see here on our browser here that this website is not secured that's because our workspace doesn't provide us free SSL for our website so if we come back here to our hosting account and then we come to hosting tools we can just find a place here for SSL. So it's here, SSL manager. Let's launch it. You would see that this is where our workspace wants to make money. So here you can see an offset. It says you need a SSL certificate. Get a free certificate if you upgrade your plan to just a 0 0.25 cent a month. Well, I think I have a method that can show you for you to get this detailed free. So let's explore that option before we come back to see how we can create a free email account. So for us to be able to get a free SSL for our website, we'll be using the service of a tool called Cloudflare. Cloudflare is a content delivery network. So let's log in here. Cloudflare. This is Cloudflare here. It's a fantastic content delivery network. You can literally use for free. So why not? Just come here, hit the sign up button, write your details, we probably just use the free plan, which is free for you to use. So right now, I'll come back here and I will log in. It. All right. So this is what it looks like inside of Cloudflare. So if you open a Cloudflare account, you have this. But you don't need to worry. Everything, you just come up here and add a site. And then we want to paste our domain name here. Dash to the site. And then we want to Next step is for us to choose our plan. So let's go down here to find the 
P, let's P, and then let's continue. Review your DNS records. If you scroll down here, you can see this is where uh, this is our existing DNS record. So what we want to do is just come down here and then hit the continue button. Cloudflare is telling us to give your name. That's exactly what we want to do. Cloudflare must manage our DNS record for it to be able to give us a free SSL. Right now, let's come back here and then let's copy this name server here. Just like the same thing we did earlier, we are going back to name keep and then we are changing our name servers. So let's come back here. Let's copy the second one here and let's come here. Let's paste that here. Once you are done updating this here, just come here and hit this green tick here and save or change it. All right, DNS can take up it has to take effect. So you can see here, so you will need to give this some time to set up. So now let's go back to Cloudflare here and let's come down here. Let's just hit check names first. Keep checking to see that this name has been propagated. So while we are waiting for Cloudflare to activate our domain here, we need to go back and create our email. As a matter of fact, I made a mistake there. Ideally, you should create your email before you update your name server. Let's go back here and let's see if we can still create the email. So let's come to our hosting tool here and let's come to email account. So here we can see that we do not have any email, but if you scroll up here, you can see that I can create an email here for myself. I can just create something, maybe info at dashboot.site to have an email like that. And then I can put the password for my email. And then I have to confirm password again. And then once this is done here, you just need to create the email here. And then you can see our email account has been created successfully. So if we scroll down right now, we should be able to have our email here. And for us to be able to see our email, you just need to click this web mail. So now let's open front cube. And that's let us know that the domain is still pointing here to award space so i can put in my username which is the name of my email all right and then i'll put my password and then i can log in that's it you can see how super simple and amazing it is for us to create a free email with our what let's come back to our cloudflare account here i'm tempted to let's just hit the continue button and let's just keep waiting for this to update to so, the guide here configure your domain whatever whatever let's just get started so right now always HTTPS with direct that's fantastic let's save this so let's finish this so i need to refresh again let's refresh as you can see this is active so great news cloudflare is now protecting your site so what we have to do right now is to come here to ssl uh slash yes so here we want to get an SSL for our website. So you can choose in between a flexible XSL, full SSL, or a full strict SSL. But I will just go for the full SSS. You are switching your SSL mode to flex from flexible to full. Are you sure you want to make changes to this? Yes, let's confirm that. That's everything we need to do to turn on SSL for our website. So right now our website should have a secret alloc. However, sometimes this might take some few hours too as well for the SSL to get. So you want to give this time too as well. So we can come to our website here. This part. Then let's do this new tab. You can see it's still not secured here. Uh, what we can do is probably maybe change our IP address. So I can just maybe use VPN here to turn myself to a better state. And then let me refresh this. Let's see if this works. So you can see now that the no secured label here is gone. This is exactly how to get a free hosting with our word space and getting a free SSL, getting a free email. So go ahead and design your website. I believe you have gotten value for your time watching this. If you have, give me a thumbs up. If you enjoyed this tutorial and you want to see more tutorials like this from me, subscribe so that you don't miss out on them. Thank you for watching this video. I would see you in another one and until then, yeah.